What's up guys, it's David with True Dreams Fitness. Hey, I'm always looking for a way to prep all my food. Easier, better, healthier, all that fun stuff. So, of course, one of the staples of my meal plan is chicken. So, a lot of times we buy our chicken in bulk uh, at the grocery store or in the meat department, whatever. And typically, they are <laughs> huge, thick chicken breasts. So, I would say you could bake these, uh, you can put them in the air fryer. There's all kinds of ways to cook these, but today we are going to cook them on the Blackstone Grill outside. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I just recently purchased it not too long ago, so I've been cooking lots and lots of different foods on it, and it is awesome. So we are going to do our marinade and prep our chicken so we can get it in the refrigerator, uh, let it sit for, I usually try to let it sit for at least an hour, but this is a great way to cook chicken in bulk. And I've already done this several times and it's, you can easily make enough chicken to last four or five days and still super good, super fresh, not stale, not hard, not you know any of those things. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. Now, as you can see, look at these big old chicken breasts. See how thick it is right here? and thin it is down here. Well, obviously, this is gonna cook way faster than this. So, I typically cut these in half the best I can, without cutting yourself, of course. And this makes all the difference in the world. See, look at that. It's still nice and thick, but it's a little bit more even through the whole thing. And we'll do all the chicken breast just like this. All right, so now that we've got all of our chicken breast cut in half, we're gonna put this aside for now and we're gonna make a little marinade. I usually grab a uh, measuring cup, uh, it's a big two cup one. <clears throat> I just, I get one that's big enough that I can put my mix in and have plenty of room to uh, stir it. So, we're gonna do a quarter cup of olive oil. Got some salt, a little pinch of salt going here. Actually, more than a pinch of salt, it's quite a bit of salt actually. You want a decent amount of salt going on this chicken, so I do a good, a good bit of salt. There we go. Then we got some onion powder, simply about a tablespoon of onion powder, and garlic powder, same thing. I do about a tablespoon. And then we'll, you can add whatever other seasonings you want, but I have this uh, lemon pepper and let's not pour it in there, let's shake it in there. And I'll put quite a bit in here. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to get uh, fresh onion and squeeze some, not onion, <laughs> we're gonna get some fresh uh, lemon and, uh, and squeeze that in there. So let me get my lemon. Here we go, cut the lemon in half. And if you got little lemon squeezers, go ahead and use that, or if you wanna use the hands, Use that as well. And I don't care if I get some seeds in there. It's a good way to work on your grip. You know, squeeze some lemons. See how much you can get out of this bad boy. It's a little bit messier, I get it. <laughs> but you get that lemon fresh scent right in your hands, <laughs> which is probably better than some other things. So, I like a lot of lemon. I like a lot of good lemon flavor and Typically, I won't use all of this in my marinade. I'll try to keep a little bit left over just to put on as we cook. I think I just, if I got all of this, I think I actually did pretty good. I don't think there's any, I don't think I got any seeds in there. Bam! So there's a whole lemon. And then mix this little marinade up. And it's pretty potent. And then what I'll typically do So I'll grab a spoon and just dip it in there just to kind of taste it, see if it needs any more uh, of anything else before we pour it in with our chicken. All right, so got this stirred up. Let's just do a little dip test. Wow, 
really good. I like a lot of lemony flavor, obviously all the fresh lemons in there. You add a little kick to it if you want. You could probably add a little bit of pepper, cayenne in there if you want. I am probably gonna add just a little bit of black pepper actually. There we go. I think that should do it. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I got it. Again, it's a little bit by taste, but that's pretty good, pretty good stuff. This is more of the lemon pepper theme or uh, you know flavor we're going for. So, but you can kick it up a notch if you want, add a little spice to it. And you can always add a little bit more salt too if you want. Let's get our chicken in the bag. So I'll use Ziploc bags so I can kind of mix it up really well. And so we had four breasts to begin with, cut in half, so it should give us a smaller, which should be fun putting all this in here in one bag with our mix. Sometimes I separate it and I'll make two marinades, but I think we should be okay here. We'll see. We'll see, you gotta get all this in the bag. Yeah, that's about half, that'd be good. I think it'd be good. I tell you what though, these, these are so much easier to cook, man. Anything, oh, those are too thin. Man, they're not, <laughs> they're not. I'm telling you, it's, once I show you on the grill and get it sizzling hot, man, and we get, we cook up just the right uh, temperature, the right amount of time on each side, it keeps all the juices in. You gotta use a probe thermometer, I'll show you that as well. So you're not cutting it open, trying to see if it's done or not, because you wanna try to make sure your chicken is done, not overly done, not underly done, so you know you wanna reach that 165 internal temp. So, here is our mix. Let's do a one last little stir before we pour that bad boy in. All right. So again, I'll pour most of it, not all of it in here. I'm gonna try to save her a little bit. There we go, I'll just save just a little bit. Not much, because I like to brush that on as we're cooking. And then make sure, here's a trick, press down your Ziploc bag, leave a little gap in your Ziploc bag so there's air to come out, and then push down to get all the air, as much air as you can out of it, and then finish off sealing it all the way across. That way, you, can, you don't have big air bubbles in there and, and you can actually massage the marinade in there a lot better. So yeah, we're massaging this chicken. <laughs> and uh, and if you, again, make sure you're sealed good because you, you don't want that juices flowing out of your bag. So see how this is one big, you know, I usually use the gallon uh, Ziploc bag and just massage it in there really good. You know, make sure that all your chicken breasts are getting covered nice. Now typically I'll put this in the refrigerator and minimum, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, uh, you can leave a couple hours, you can leave it even overnight if you want. We got a grill nice and hot, and a couple tools. If you guys have a grill or think about getting a grill, you gotta get it. You gotta get a digital thermometer. A little pop out probe there for your different meats. And even has a little gauge on there, super awesome. Tells you what your temperature should be for the different types of meats. Got some oil, I'm using some avocado oil, and chicken, and some nice good metal tongs. You can get these pretty inexpensively on Amazon. A little digital uh, thermometer here, so you can check temperature. So since we got four burners here, and right now we're above 500 degrees, so probably turn these down just a little bit. I try to get about 450 to 500. Detail, we got the chicken down, sizzling like, man. Got that nice sizzle when you put it on the grill. I love that sound. Some people add a little bit of oil down before they put the chicken down, but because I'm always oiling the griddle every time when I'm done, so usually you do a few minutes on one side, a few minutes the other side, then I may turn the temperature down just a little bit, and then at that point, uh, I'm not really flipping it much uh, anymore, and I'll Keep checking with my gauge. Internal temperature looking for that 165 degrees.
I'm sure you're, I'm showing you plenty of good close-ups of this chicken. Go ahead and get this, guys. Hopefully the lighting is good. My goodness, I mean, this is beautifully just charred just right, just nice golden brown. Ah, oh, man, I'll tell you what. Boom, there you have it, man. It's so good, it's so good. Look how beautifully cooked this chicken is, inside and out. Man. That lemon, wow. Just a nice peppery lemon taste. The extra coat at the very top to let it kind of hold its uh, hold its own, kind of like the coat the top of the, the chicken at the very end. When that rest on, on the chicken just adds something a little extra too. This is so good. Again, I prep for four or five days at a time, so this makes it super nice, super easy uh, cooking on the Blackstone, but man, this is, this is incredible. Uh, as you saw, guys, the, the, there's not much to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them in the section down below. Uh, if you got any awesome recipes for chicken that you've tried on the griddle uh, for marinades uh, that are healthy, of course, <laughs> uh, send them in, or put them in the comments as well. I'd love to try them out. Maybe put them on the channel because I'm constantly looking for nice, healthy recipes that's super easy um, that fit into my uh, meal plan. And uh, right now, it's super awesome to be able to make these guys, make these videos for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya.